hi guys how are you doing so welcome back to my channel if you're new here today thank you so much for watching this video and please subscribe and let us keep subscribing so assuming you're doing your analysis and you want to use Landsat images so the first thing you're going to do is to download the image so as you can see here i'm already logged into my usgs website if you don't have an account you'll have to create your account so the first thing is the search criteria you need to uh, indicate you need to narrow your search area so you can type in an address or a place name or you can enter the coordinates of your area if you know the coordinates so you can see here uh, the geocoder i can select either a feature an address or path and row if you know the path and row it's okay you can just input it so for example if it's an address or a place if you know the the name of the area that you you want to download the image for you can just type for example i can type nairobi and then you click enter you can see it has given you uh, the Nairobi area then you click on it so as you can see here in the map it's already showing this icon here so the next thing for you to do is to specify the data the date range of your image depending on the year or the month that you want your image to be in you're going to specify here so for example if you want to download uh which kind of landsat okay from let's put 2000 and you can put january to 2019 so this totally depends on what you want to download because there are many types of landsat images and the they're all different in 2000 things like landsat 8 were not there so if you want to download something like landsat 8 obviously you won't get that for 2000 you'll have to use the other landsat images so it all depends with the time that you the time of the image that you need after after that we got to the data sets and then since we want to download the landsat images we come down here to landsat then you, you click there under landsat there are many types of uh many types of landsat there is collection one and there is collection two the difference is that collection two has improved processing geometric accuracy and radiometric calibration but that that doesn't mean that collection one doesn't work so you just choose um, the type that you want to so uh, like maybe you can you you can use the Landsat collection one level two difference between level one and level two is that level two has surface reflectance and surface temperature from 1982 to present while level one has data from all sensors from 1972 so for example we can we can even we can we can choose landsat 7 okay i see there's a notification here they're saying that all new landsat acquisition will be processed into collection 2 so maybe we download collection 2 so landsat 7 landsat 4 you will choose this depending on what you want to download so after choosing the dat data set that you want to download we can now go to the additional criteria where you can add more filters that you want to add for example cloud cover you can see the range of the cloud cover that you want it can be maybe zero to ten percent maybe most of most of the time you would want an image that has less cloud cover so you can input your range there and 
if you have things like path and row you can input anything really here that you have the information on you can input so it can filter more on your images because you'll probably get many results and you're trying to filter so you can obtain a, a few results so after that we click on the results and it's going to give you the output images that are there depending on what you clicked on when you were searching your data so as you can see it's now showing us the images that are that are there so if you want to visualize the maps or the images the images that are that are here like you click here and it can be able to show you the footprint so as you can see this image here it's covering the nairobi area you can see muranga you can see machakos and you can you can then check out the other images you can see so if you are downloading maybe images for two areas or it's a larger area so you you will keep clicking on the footprint to see which one which one suits your area more yeah so after you've done that you now you're ready to download your image now so to download you can click on this download button here so you can see it's loading the download options so you come and you click the product options and as you can see it's now showing you the option you can now click on the download here and you can download your Landsat image and these others are the text files the the xml files the rest so you, what you'll do is you're, you're going to click on this download file here and then it's going to start downloading so that's what you need to do so you can do that for all your images so the main thing is for you to know which Landsat image do you want to download and for which year so you after you know that you just come here and you select and you specify what you need and you're going to get your image it's very simple so that's it thank you guys